Hello world, or should I say hello galaxy? I'm sipping my second cup of coffee out of a Flame Trooper mug, which I found the other day for five bucks. In decent condition, too. I wish I could have gotten it for, well, less than five bucks, of course. But I thought at five bucks, okay, it's not bad. It's been a while since I last pick up a Star Wars mug. I don't collect Star Wars mugs. I should, but I don't. I mean, I don't need that many you know, different kinds of mugs, quite honestly. But when they show up, they show up, or if, if I see a discount, I get it. It says uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens inside, in case you can't see that. So today, this is a clue, I'm going to show you some of the newer Star Wars figures that I've gotten. I don't know if I can do a weekly Star Wars figure haul, but if you watch the vlog, you'll see them show up uh, you know, as they come in, usually. Um, and if I don't get a new Star Wars figure every week, well, then maybe this will be an every other week thing. Maybe it'll be an every month thing. Anyway, this is my latest Star Wars figure haul. I'm going to start Start with where's Ray? Right here. This is not the Ray that you think you know. This is the Ray with the lightsaber and her resistance outfit. It says so right there. Ray resistance outfit. I found Ray. I found Ray. There's a guy out there. This is making the rounds in social this morning. Uh, who's taking stickers and stamping them or not stamping? Like, well, I guess placing them on Star Wars figures, saying asking where's Ray and putting it on cards of, of figures that aren't Ray. Well, this is Ray in the Resistance outfit. I cannot open her. The reason why is because I only have one of her, and uh, she is a part of this series. Han Solo, the Hask Thug, and then Ray, and then of course you can build the weapon right there. You know a lot about Ray. Uh, I'm looking for a second one of her, and of course any of the new figures outside of this wave because I have duplicates of Han Solo and the Hask Thug. These are duplicates, which means I believe I can open these. I'm going to open the Han because this, this Han card is not in perfect condition. I'm opening a Star Wars figure and it's Han Solo. Okay, yeah, Han Solo. Yeah, you know Han. He looks older than the younger Han. It's, what else can you say about Han Solo? Uh, the figure is not dead. I'm not dead yet. It's because figures don't live. Get this nice little instruction booklet there. Uh, and on the back, you know, Han, Hot Hask, Thug, and Ray, and then you can complete the weapon, which I cannot do until I get a second Ray, because I want to keep one in the box. And uh, it's Han Solo. Let's see how gray Han Solo's hair is. Now, this is a 5 POA figure. Five points of articulation, and I'm even though I'm not usually a fan of uh, human likenesses on my figures, I am. I'm going to try to get all of the this scale, three and three quarter inch scale. Uh, Han Solo, um, your hair's not white enough for me, honestly. Uh, decent paint application. Uh, you can swivel the head around if you want. Han Solo looks good. He looks good, and it looks like you would also be able to remove his blaster, which is right there. Hans Blaster. Let's see if I can hold it right there. It's in his hand. I'm not going to remove it right now because it seems to be si sitting in his hand quite nicely. Nice detail. Um, great sculpt. A decent paint application. I don't mind the... I mean, it's, it's not perfect, but um, I really don't mind. I love the scale, though. And uh, I love Han Solo. Love him. Not going to marry him. He's an action figure. Um, ooh, his, his skin tone is a little weird. On, on his hands. It's a weird weird color of skin, but okay. Uh, he looks like Harrison Ford. It's probably the closest uh, Harrison Ford face sculpt I've seen. One of the best. Easily. Doesn't look like Tim Allen, like the earlier ones. So, uh, yeah. Five points of articulation does not bother me. You can swing his arms, his legs, uh, and uh, his head. I love 5 POA. I know, I'm the only collector who seems to. Uh, but I'm very, very happy to have this Han Solo. And you can take the blaster out, and what I'm saying is you can put it in a holster. Because it's got, see, look, it's got a hole in the holster. So holster, peg, holes in the bottom of his feet. Han, you stay here, and I tell you what, you are going to guard my mouse, which looks horrific. Because Apple doesn't know how to design hardware anymore. Uh, I have to charge my mouse. Someone was asking about this the other day. It got down to 1%, and I found out this morning. So that's why I've got the, the magic uh, trackpad, touchpad thing over there. Why, why does, yeah, why, Eric just asked why uh, Han doesn't have gray hair. I don't know, okay, I better not get too crazy here. I'm going to put Ray over there because I am also going to open this Hask Thug. I, I, I'm, a, I'm afraid, though. I'm afraid of opening the Hask Thug because I want to make sure the other one is in, I, I'm looking at the card condition and it may be just as nice as the other one. But anyway, here's the Hask Thug. I guess they travel in threes. That's known in the visual dictionary. But they have other uh, figures in this scale that are going to be released if they have not already been released. I have not found them in stores or online minus uh, scalp paying scalper prices, and I'm not going to do that. I ended up exchanging my gift card uh, courtesy of go.tagjag.com slash free apps 
They had a gift card for the store that I got this from. I just, I like monster figures. What can I say? So I, I, I've opened the Han, so I've opened at least one. Uh, I want to open this one, but I want to verify that I, I have my duplicate downstairs. And I know I, I know I have two. I, the first person I told about these, uh, Yak Face, Jason. And today, oh yeah, I'm saving it all up, baby. Uh, I'm going to show you these. Two, two flame troopers. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, if you do not follow me on social, and I mean across social, you missed the fact that these are now available. One, and, and they, they've likely been available for a while. But two, uh, as soon as I found out that you could get them on Amazon, pay Prime, free sh with Prime you get free shipping, uh, but you could, you'd only have to pay like retail price, like 22 bucks. Again, I used my gift cards and got two. In fact, I got one, and then I went back, and I'm like, you know what? I'll get two. So I gave everybody a chance to get two, but I tweeted it. I said, hey, guess what? You can get your first order Flame Trooper right now. This is a six-inch figure, and uh, you've seen the Flame Trooper before. In fact, I've, I've seen one up close. It was blogged, and it was it was showcased in a video I did about The Force Awakens when I went to Star Wars Celebration in Anaheim earlier this year. And it seems, this is what's odd, uh, it seems that both of these boxes are in relatively good condition prime condition like and that rarely happens with amazon amazon usually ships and they just get you the thing they it, the, amazon is like typically really bad when it comes to uh, uh sending uh, boxes in good condition to uh, collectors but uh in this sense it seems that mm, i'm really not seeing too much of a difference between the two at which point that that's that's good uh the corners on this one are a little more mussed up so this is the one that i am going to open this one is going to stay in the collection unopened back there uh the flame trooper is a new design and you can tell it's a flame trooper because he's got two slits unlike the snow trooper that has one slit specialized stormtroopers of the first order flame troopers carry incendiary weapons that can transform any battlefield into an infernal blaze might, they might as well call them trolls these are like the trolls the comment trolls of uh of the Star Wars galaxy. That's that's what they do. So this is a six inch figure. Now, when I say six inches, six inches tall versus three and three quarter inches. So you see, see how Han is like small. They, they they're different scales. Okay, small, medium, and large. I almost, almost got one of uh, the Flame Trooper. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, the Flame Trooper in this scale, the 12 inch scale. Now, the reason why I got these is because Diana, uh, you know, has seen Jedi look at my toys and uh, wondered if maybe if we got ones in the 12 inch variety, specifically this variety, if Jedi would play with them. So these are Jedi's Star Wars figures. She's got the big ones, the 18 inch Jack specific figures, but they're a little too big for her right now. She, she kind of messes around with them, but they're a little too big. So these, even though they're uh, recommended for age four and up, are going to remain in the boxes. You can see that's a Stormtrooper, very skinny Stormtrooper to fit in the box, I guess. Uh, she also has a Kylo Ren right there. Kylo Ren. Uh, we're probably going to keep these in the boxes for now until she wants to remove them from the boxes. She has her own Darth Vader figure. But you can call them dolls. These are like Star Wars dolls. I have this one already. Oh, in a different box, but uh, I have this one. Uh, in, in box and out of box. Fun little figure. And she's got her own dart. And a Chewbacca. A little whiter. <laughs> and uh, what we're going to try to do with these figures, and you can see the box art on the side. Let me go ahead and put the Stormtrooper that way since he wants to lean. Um, keep him in the boxes, if only to see if Jedi plays with them in the boxes so we don't have to remove them from the boxes because they're small parts, or potentially small parts. And she's still sticking a few things in her mouth, and we're trying to get her past that. So I'm, I'm very grateful that I was able to, again, use gift cards. Those were free. Everything, pretty much anything you see, if it shows up like this, it was likely free. Or I didn't have to pay anything because I used a gift card. Uh, I do pay for things, absolutely, but I usually, if I can, I'll use a gift card because then it just saves me a ton of money, obviously. And Jedi gets her own dolls or action figures. So Daddy has his own action figures or dolls. Jedi has her own, so she doesn't have to play with Daddy's. And I think everybody's happy. Oh, wait, let me let me bring it. Should I bring in Ray just to complete everything here, the carded figures and the not-so-carded figures? The boxed figures, the carded figures, the unboxed figures. That is uh, my haul right there. <laughs> uh, did I get free stuff at Applebee's on my birthday? No, I don't go there. Why would, why would I go to a place where they make food that tastes like food but really isn't? I don't know. I'm not going to... Don't get me started on restaurant food, okay? Please don't. Windang asks, hey, Chris, when some... 
thing say collectible? Is it worth money? Is it still worth money? No, not necessarily. You know, if you don't love it, don't get it. I mean, just because it's collectible doesn't mean you should be collecting it, right? You know, some people, I, they drive me nuts. You know, they get something and they don't, they don't love it. I love every one of these things. Love them. Love them. Appreciate. Adore. And a huge shout out, by the way, speaking of Star Wars dolls, I may bring this out on uh, Valentine's Day, uh, Monday, or, or, or Valentine's Day a video on Monday. Uh, Betsy Weber sent the Think Geek bouquet. You can get this at thinkgeek. Go.tagjag.com slash thinkgeek. Uh, it's an array of little, they're not itty bitties. They look like itty bitties. Jedi loved Wicket. She kept pulling it out of all of the array of things and she goes, da! Like, Wicket looks like a dog. And it's could it could be that we it, we say oh it's wicked it's an Ewok that she wicked is a dog, uh, Boba Fett, uh, Darth Vader, uh, two wickets or two Ewoks, three stormtroopers, a C three PO, and an R two D two from Betsy Weber. I wouldn't have gotten this otherwise. Really wouldn't have. I, I'm not a bouquet guy, but I love it. She sent this to myself, Jedi, and Diana. D uh, Jedi, of course, will likely inherit most of these, uh, minus the uh, the Darth Vader, of course, which will remain in my collection. So I do get way more than uh, 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 just uh, Darth Vader things, uh, specifically, uh, you know, the figures. I like the figures. I'm a, I'm a fan of figures. Love. I, I'm never going to not like figures. Ever. I love figures. Love them, love them, love them, especially within the, the Star Wars universe. Uh, if you, by the way, if you find the six-inch uh, line, the newer six-inch line that I have not yet found, let me know immediately because I can't find them. Espe and especially if you find the smaller scale, the 3.75-inch scale, if you find those, uh, let me know. Um, Yakface, a shout-out to him. Uh, Jason ended up grabbing one for me uh, today. Um, a Poe Dameron exclusive, one of the Poe Dameron exclusives that I did not yet have, a pop vinyl. Um, but, uh, yeah. So there you go. We're going to keep those in the boxes. Some of them. Open others. Have fun. You know, kind of spread the love. Uh, I know I'm not the only one. Obviously, I'm not the only one. Love talking about this stuff. Love sharing the stuff that I get. These are today's Perillo picks. Uh, check out the link in this video's description. Now I'm going to move on to answering tech questions and talking about today's tech news with the other geeks that are hanging out with me. If you want to uh, hang out with me every weekday, get about an hour's worth of Chris Perillo, head over to chrisperillo.com and sign up to be a patron right now. Oh, Joe's birthday. I'm sorry. Yeah, Joe Tashi. He, he mentioned after the broadcast that it was his birthday yesterday. So, Joe, happy birthday. Or happy birthday yesterday. You know, it's Lincoln's birthday. I didn't get him anything either. I apologize. Joe, what, what can I get you? Can I, can I get you anything? Answer. I can answer your, your questions, as I do every single weekday. Okay, time to move on. Thank you, everybody, and back to the patrons. Today's free podcast highlight was brought to you by all of my active patrons from chrisperillo.com. If you want access to the full TLDR episodes, both audio, video, past, present, and future, which can be up to an hour long or longer, with even more tech insight from me every weekday, plus other bonus content without ads, and support me at the same time, <clears throat> you can sign up to become one of my supernomies too. This is just a brief taste of what I'm producing for you daily. Again, get more through chrisperillo.com.